Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants. This is Rudy Rodriguez Shomat from Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host. Woo! Taking a breath here because the WNBA gets on the podium about how inclusive, how much they care about women, blah, 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 blah. Today. Excuse me. Today, Los Angeles Sparks forward De'Arica Hamby filed a federal lawsuit against the WNBA and the Las Vegas Aces. Quite frankly, I'm surprised that Becky Hammond wasn't included in this lawsuit as well. For those of you who don't know, De'Arica Hamby plays for the Sparks. She played for the San Antonio Stars which later became the Las Vegas Aces as they moved. There's no team in San Antonio right now. Um, Derek Hampy just won the bronze medal in the three-on-three at the Olympics. Derek Hampy's a good player. What Derek Hampy also is, is straight. She likes men. And for the WNBA, that is something that is highly frowned upon. It is the same reason that Caitlin Clark is catching so much grief and so much pain from the non-straight community in the WNBA. De'Arica Hamby has children. De'Arica Hamby got pregnant while playing basketball. One might think that It's understood, and it's okay, because she's a woman, and she wants to have children before she's 35, and retired from playing basketball. But no, 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 no. That's not what Becky Hammond made De'Arica Hamby to feel like, according to this lawsuit. I remember I remember when all this was going down. And here's a funny story as we as I talk about this and I'm going to go into this lawsuit. Right now on ESPN I'm looking at the top headlines. In fact, let's just share the screen so I can show you myself. Let's take a look here. Uh ESPN No. This is the current front page of ESPN right now at 6.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's take a look at this page. De'Arica Hamby just sued the WNBA and the Las Vegas Aces in a federal lawsuit. I see Red Sox out through the Durant suspended for anti-gay slur. Teams ask Patriots dealing with Judon, Reddick, da 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 UGA, Ohio State top eight people. Aaron Rodgers, Mookie Betts. I don't even know who this is. This is soccer, I presume. And golf. This is the front page of ESPN. Let's scroll on down. College football. Have you seen it? Oh, here's here's the Olympic roster projecting. Oh, how about that? How about this? More football, 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 soccer. Uh, here we go. More F- MMA. I gotta talk about MMA actually. It was a big fight this weekend. Blah 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 blah. How about the WNBA? WNBA homepage. Where is this federal lawsuit? Where is the federal lawsuit that De'Arica Hamby filed against the WNBA and the Aces? Why is that not considered a top headline by ESPN? Why is that not listed listed here? I, I'm going. I'm going. I'm scrolling on down. It's on CBS. Why is it not on ESPN? 
We know why. Because ESPN is a partner. And ESPN does not want to have bad press from the WNBA. I'm sure the NBA made a phone call to ESPN and said, no, please do not post this. Please do not talk about it. It's a bad look. We are going through a presidential election right now. Where one of the biggest things on the ballot is abortion. One of the biggest topics of conversation is abortion. Now, I don't care which side you stand on. It doesn't matter to me, honestly. But it is a major topic of contention right now in this election. I want to venture to guess that of the 100 and you got 12 teams, 12, 15 players, of the 180 WNBA basketball players, we already know that majority of them are, 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 are not straight. We know that a majority of them are lesbians, and that's fine. You do what you do. I don't care. But let's take a look real quick. 180 of the 180 WNBA players, and I'm sure management, coaches, executives, all that. I'm going to venture to guess that 85% are going to vote for Kamala Harris for president. I'm going to presume that that same 85% are largely far leaning left Democrats. So again, your choice. I don't care. But if you have a big problem with an, the abortion topic, you would also feel a certain way with the woman's right to pre reproduce, correct? Would you not? My light's a little bit too bright on my face. Would you, would you not feel that you know, a woman has the right to reproduce and not be told by an employer that she can't? Real funny when you look at it from that perspective. The same people that are sitting here telling you that we want to be able to have abortions and use it as a form of birth control and whatever other reason you want to have an abortion, and there's tons of reasons to have one, and, one, and the one that is not is, is, is birth control. But otherwise... I, I think a woman should have the choice to do what she wants with her body. Shouldn't that same woman have the choice to have a baby if she wants to without the fear of problems at her job? Let alone a job like the WNBA, which is supposed to be all about women's rights. So let's take a look at this lawsuit because I haven't actually looked at it. I have not read it. I, have, I don't know what's on it. I don't know. So I'm going to read it. We're going to go over this thing real fast. And look at how bad this looks for the WNBA. Here we go. I'll zoom in as much as possible. As you see, the attorneys that are on this case is there. You go in the district court of the, in the district of Nevada, United States District Court. Okay, let's just jump into what matters. As you see on or about September 23rd, the plaintiff filed a charge of discrimination against the defendant's name in action with the equal EEOC. For those of you who don't know, the EEOC is the Equal, Opportunity Commi equal Employment Opportunity Commission. They look at things before people will file employment lawsuits because they want to avoid having frivolous lawsuits for lawsuits that can't, be, that can't really be won. Um, because proving things when it comes to employment is, is not easy. It's, it's really it's not easy for people that are filing suit because... So many things can happen to people who, who file lawsuits against their employers, and it carries and follows them through the, through the duration of their lives and their professional careers. It never goes away. So when you file a, a lawsuit against one of your against an employer, you, you 
not purposely, but the reality is it, it, it will follow you. And when people do regular basic background checks on you, they'll be able to find the losses that you filed against previous employers. And that could make people shy away from hiring you in the future. Now, would that be the case in the WNBA? Probably not, because if you're good, you're good. But in a regular, in regular life, it, it can have a major impact on you. <clears throat> so she received the right, the, the notice of right to sue from the EEOC on May 23rd. So that's three months ago. So now she has filed <laughs> this action. So let's see here. Uh, so she's a two-time WNBA Sixth Woman of the Year, three-time WNBA All-Star, WNBA Champion, bronze medal winning Olympian, mother of two children. <clears throat> she first began playing professional ball in 2015 when she was selected by the San Antonio Stars that don't exist anymore, now the Las Vegas Aces. So let's just jump into the, into the core of this lawsuit, as it is an 18-page lawsuit. Um, on or about June, June 28, 2022, in the midst of the WNBA regular season, plaintiff Hamby signed a two-year contract extension to continue playing basketball with the Las Vegas Aces. The contract was for purposes of securing Hamby as a player for the Aces for 2023 and 2024 with their contract to expire on May 15, 2025 in an effort to do deter her from entering the free agency market. They gave her that they offered a two year contract extension and in connection with this offer, they promised her certain benefits, inducements outside of the contract to entice her to stay. They included, but not limited to an agreement to cover her private school tuition for her daughter um, in the form of a donation to the, her daughter's school. Additionally, they allowed her to occupy team provided housing accommodations, though she also has a separate residence in Nevada. This would allow her family to assist with childcare for her daughter while she played on the road. She signed the extension with the interest and desire to continue playing with the Aces. Three weeks later, she discovered that she was pregnant with her second child. So that's during the season. July is during the WNBA season. So she found out she was pregnant during the season. On or about August 6th, she informed her coach. And the coaching and the, and the other coaches and training staff of her pregnancy on August eighth, it was confirmed at her first doctor's visit that she was pregnant. She notified the general manager of the Aces, Natalie Williams, of her pregnancy. Let's make all these people famous, because if these were men, they would be being dragged through the mud right now. If these were men doing this, they would be dragged. Well, I'll tell you this. This woman, Natalie Williams, the coach, Becky Hammond, should be dragged worse. You're women. You are women. You should be dragged worse than a man will be dragged. Because we can never understand the true situation of pregnancy. Even though, I mean, I have three children. And I can still never tell you how my wife really felt. Because I'm not the one that was pregnant. Right? But let's take a look here. On September 18th. They won their first WNBA championship, and Hamby was starting. She started 32 of 34 games while pregnant. This is some Serena Williams type shit right here. Like, think about that. She played while pregnant. <clears throat> she played while pregnant. Played while pregnant. Let's see here. So she let the, the, the general manager know. They won the WNBA championship. On the stage on September 20th, 2022, she announced to the fans and me that she was pregnant. Think about that. You have a woman that played the season pregnant. And after making, it, <clears throat> after making her pregnancy public, she experienced notable changes in how she was being treated by the Las Vegas Aces staff. For example, when her daughter's school tuition was due, she inquired with the general manager and the president, Nikki Fargus. Let's make her famous, too. They were working on it, but they had provided no date for which the donation would be made. October 1st, Williams informed Hamby that she must leave the team provided housing. Okay, so you're reneging on the, on the tuition, which is clear. 
You're kicking her out of the housing. Of course, all these things are alleged, but they're easily documented. They're, they're easily verifiable. No reason was given to Plaintiff Hamby by Williams for this decision to remove Hamby from the team-provided housing. In November 2022, she followed up with Williams and Fargus again about the tuition. So now, her kid's now been in school now since September. We're now in November, and tuition still has not been paid. They're still figuring it out. Apparently coming up with basic tuition money for a private school, which probably is no more than like $10,000, $15,000 for the entire school year in most private schools, unless it's like Bishop, Bishop Gorman, which probably costs more. Um, for the most part, it's 10, 15 grand. Cut the damn check. What are you figuring out? You're, you're owned by a billionaire. Like, what are you talking about? So no dates given. Now on, on January 15th, 2023, during a phone call with her and Becky Hammond, Becky Hammond has always rubbed me the wrong way. Hammond asked her, Hamby, if she planned her pregnancy, bro, <laughs> bro, if a man asked a woman that type of shit, he'd lose his job immediately. The fact that Becky Hammond is employed is unreal. But the only reason she'd still be employed is because the people above her asked her to ask her player that. Hamby says she did not plan her pregnancy. Hammy, Hammond told Hamby that she was not taking proper precautions not to get pregnant. Who the fuck are you, Hammond? Who the fuck are you? Does anyone ask about what goes on in your bedroom? I'm sure you like girls. I mean, that's fine. So you can't get pregnant from a female. But is that anyone's business? Like, this is, this shit is bad. This is bad. And I have a background in human resources. I have a master's degree in human resources management. So this is really bad. And the only way that Becky Hammond should not, should, Becky Hammond should be filing papers of resignation right now. This is, I don't give a damn what happens in this lawsuit. You have been outed for what you are. You don't like straight women. You have a problem with women that like dick. That you would ask her. It, that, she, that, that if she planned her pregnancy or if she was, and that she wasn't taking proper precautions to not get pregnant, that's none of your business. Also, Hammond questioned Hammy's commitment and dedication to the team. She told Hamby that she was a question mark. She further stated that the Aces needed bodies and that Hamby would not be ready to play in time for the start of the next season. In response, Hamby assured Hammond that she was committed to the team would be giving birth during the offseason and anticipated being fully ready to play at the start of the preseason in April of 2023. Also on the call, Hammond accused Hamby of signing her contract extension knowing she was pregnant, a false accusation with Ham which Hamby denied. That one, Hammond's got some fucking audacity levels of, I mean, uh, like the levels of audacity in accusing someone allegedly of that is crazy to me. First of all, it's not your money, Becky Hammond. Why do you care so much? You're not cutting the check. If anyone is asking that question, it should be the owner of the team. But yet that's the one person that didn't ask that question. Because that guy knows better. I don't even know who it is, to be honest. I don't know who the owner of the, of the Las Vegas Aces is. But that person, male or female, knows better. I would think. Also, during that call, Hammond informed Hamby that it is believed by the ACES staff that Hamby would get pregnant again for the third time. What is that end of your fucking business? If she wants to get pregnant ten times, that's not your fucking business. Also, Hammond accused Hamby of not taking her off-season workout seriously. Another false allegation. Though seven months pregnant at the time, Hamby was working out regularly as permitted by her doctors, including playing basketball and doing regular Pilates and calisthenic workouts. Also, Hammond told Hamby that Hamby did not hold up her end of the bargain and that no one expected her to get pregnant again, implying that by signing the contract extension, Hamby implicitly agreed she would not get pregnant during the two-year extension period. Someone needs to explain to Hammond that she has violated five million areas of human resources fucking law right now. Like, 
if any of this stuff is true, and I know it probably is because th there would not be any EEOC, EEOC uh, approval to file suit. Yeah, man, this is th this is crazy. You're trading me, said it to Hammond. Tr you're trading me because I'm pregnant. Hammond responded to the plaintiff's Hamby, Hamby's inquiry by saying, what do you want me to do? Hammond did not deny the accusation that Hamby was being traded because she was pregnant. She was traded because she was pregnant. She was. I remember, I remember when this happened. On or about January 16, 2023, Hammond called Plaintiff Hamby told her, your time with the Aces is up and that it is best for Hamby's career if she moves on. Hammond, Hammond told Hamby that Hamby could pick a place like Los Angeles or Atlanta or that Hamby, Hammond could trade her to either the Connecticut Sun or the Indiana Fever. God damn, I wish they traded her to the Fever. If they traded her to the Fever, my God, do you know how good the Fever would look right now? With Hamby, Boston, and Caitlin Clark? Oh, my God, that would be a good team. On January 21st, 2023, the Aces issued a public announcement that, they, that she was traded to the Sparks. <clears throat> Hamby issued a following public statement via social media. I'm not reading all this. This is a lot of shit. But basically, she says, to be treated this way by an organization, by women who are mothers who have claimed to be in these shoes, who preach family, chemistry, and women's empowerment, is disappointing and leaves me sick to my stomach. We fought for provisions that would finally support and protect player parents. This cannot be now used against me. You can obviously read all this right here. I don't know how a woman can promise to not get pregnant. I don't know how a woman can... I don't know how you, how you can think that a contract signing for playing sports... Is 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 a swearing that I'll never get, I won't get pregnant again if I'm a female. That's crazy. Wow. <clears throat> Let's see here. On or about the twenty third, 20, January twenty three, twenty twenty three, the executive director of the WNBA Players Association, Terry Jackson, on behalf of Clayton Hamby, sent an email to the WNBA's general counsel, Jamin Jamin Dershowitz, requesting an investigation. Hamby gave birth on March 6, 2023. So she was actually going to be healthy enough probably to play. I don't know that she could have played before. I don't think she could have gone to training camp. Um, she could have been there, but not really gone. Because you shouldn't, as a woman, I mean, if especially if, I don't know if it was a C-section for her or if it was natural. But if it was a C-section, yeah, you're not playing basketball for three months. Like, you're no, there's no way you're, you're not, there's no way you can start the season in the middle of May after a C-section on March 6th. No way in hell. Not, and then there's no doctor that would advise that. You could cause your, your sutures to, to, to rip. It won't allow your stomach to heal. It won't, I mean, that's, there's just too much there. I think she could have been ready to go by probably end of June, beginning of July. Um, but that even would be a bit of a stretch, a bit of a push to me. Now, natural birth, I think she probably could have been ready by beginning to middle of June. But even then, I wouldn't have expected her to be ready to go by the season starting. On or about April 28th, she reported to camp. But she didn't, rem she didn't miss any required time. I mean, she's a soldier. God damn, she's a soldier. She played in all 40 regular season games. She didn't miss a single game of the season. Um, the NBA publicly announced has concluded its investigation of the, of the Aces. The WNBA announced today that it has rescinded the Las Vegas Aces' 2025 first-round draft pick for violating league rules regarding impermissible player benefits a suspended Las Vegas head coach Becky Hammond for two games without pay for violating league and team respect in the workplace policies. Can you imagine that? All the shit she said, and she got two games. Let that have been a man. Let that have been a man. That guy would have been out of the league. Wow. Wow. Two games. I remember when she got suspended, but two games. Like, this is, this is. The WNBA did not, the defendant WNBA did not interview any Las Vegas Aces players in connection with this 2023 investigation of Las Vegas Aces and head coach Hammond. Had players been interviewed, they could have corroborated key conversations between plaintiffs and defendant aces and other relevant facts as alleged by plaintiff Hamby. 
the WNBA did not impose adequate punishment or consequences on the defendant basis for the discriminatory treatment experienced by the plaintiff, nor for her unlawful trade to the sparks such that it would deter any future similar contact. The WNBA did also did not impose adequate punishment or consequences on head coach Hammond. I think, I think Becky Hammond should be able to leave. I think we need to cut the bullshit. Becky Hammond should not be in the WNBA. Becky Hammond should not even be a consideration for an NBA coaching job. She should be gone. She should be absolutely fucking gone. Gone. There's nothing that's excusable about, about the things that she allegedly said. Nothing. Yeah, she got, and then Hamby gets traded to a less competitive team, resulted in a loss of reputational prestige and brand value, typically associated with being part of a two-time WNBA champion franchise. Also resulted in a loss of marketing and or endorsement opportunities in Las Vegas sports market that were not available to her in the Los Angeles sports market, a far more saturated endorsement market. Not to mention that the Los Angeles Sparks suck. So if they suck, there's not going to be much of an endorsement market for a bad basketball team. The, 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 the ACEs engaged in a number of retaliatory acts against the plaintiff, including but not limited to issuing a directive to Vegas players and staff to cease communication with plaintiff, making a false public statement through his general manager, Natalie Williams. Remember that name, Natalie Williams, on a radio show that implied plaintiff and the ACEs were, uh, were aware of plaintiff's pregnancy since June 2022, attempted to wrongfully obtain confidential medical, medical records from plaintiff after informing her she was no longer a member of the ACEs. Refusing to extend an invitation to plaintiff to attend a White House ceremony with Vice President Kam oh, Kamala Harris. Look at that. To commemorate Las Vegas Aces' first championship, giving a directive to video personnel, a prohibiting showing of the plaintiff's daughter on the arena's video screen, despite the fact that the plaintiff's daughter was often previously shown on such video screen and was a fan favorite, then immediately cutting away from a shot of plaintiff's daughter when she was inadvertently shown on an arena's video screen. Bro, this is just so nasty. This is so nasty. Like, I mean, you, you've heard the allegations. Now it's basically, this is irreparable harm. She's been embarrassed, humiliated, blah, blah, blah. Second cause of action. And none of, this is all basically, this is... <clears throat> yeah, this is... There's a retaliation. There's, I mean, there's all, it's all allegations, okay? End of the day, this is really, really bad. This league sits on a fucking podium of, <sighs> they sit on a podium of being, you know, caring about everybody and they love women and women are it's all empowering of women. Bro, yeah, if you're not a straight woman. Yeah. If you're not straight, I, I'd, I'd be curious to see at this point how many women in WNBA are straight and what they have to deal with in comparison to those that are not. I, I Because to sit here, this woman got, got pre she's pregnant and you're going to, dude, you could not get away with this crap. I hope she takes the NBA, WNBA for a boatload of money. I hope she takes them for a boatload of money because this is despicable. This is despicable. You, if a man did this to a woman, there would be people marching in the streets against that man. He would be out of a job with, by the next day. By the next day, he'd be out of a job. Nikki Williams, Las Vegas Aces. Her name. Front office of the Las Vegas Aces. The owner is Mark Davis of the Raiders. General man, I'm sorry, Natalie Williams. Let's look at Natalie Williams' background. Oh, here, let's let's make her famous. This is Natalie Williams. She was named general manager on April eighth. 2022, and by July, she was committing all kinds of human resources, all kinds of human resources violations. I have no idea who this one is. 
She was inducted to the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in 2016. Maybe they should remove her from it now. Maybe her punishment should, should be that she loses being in the Basketball Women's Hall of Fame. I don't know who this one is. She played seven seasons in WNBA, four with the Utah Stars, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it looks like she was a pretty good player. It looks like she was a really good player. Well, that's, that's your... Uh, make her famous. Make her famous. So let's, let's take a look at who the... The rest of them are. I don't even. I don't even see the other person up here. I don't. Oh, this is okay. Here's the president, business operator, Nikki Fargus. This is Nikki Fargus. Let's make her famous too. Wait, this is the one that's in charge of the Raiders, isn't she? Oh well, she was hired May of uh, 2021. Okay. Well, here's another one that doesn't seem to like pregnant women. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Now that you have uh, heard about this lawsuit, what do you think about this? What do you think about the, the, the WNBA and how it treats its players? How it treats women? Because they sure as shit get on a podium, man. And they sure as shit tell you how, you know, women are, women are most important to us. Man, they're clearly not. Unless you're, unless you're, if you're a straight one, you're not on that. You're not up here for the for when it comes to WNBA, WNBA if you're straight. You're not. You don't have that same level of importance. Heck, go look at the dub. I mean, I don't know the numbers. I don't know the stats. I have no idea. I don't. I'm genuinely being honest. The, the, the Olympic team. I think Asia Wilson is straight. I presume she is. Brianna Stewart's not. Diana Taurasi's not. Chelsea Gray is definitely not. Brittany Griner is not. Um, Kyle Copper is not. Jewel Lloyd is not. Alyssa Thomas is not. Who well, else? Nafisia Collar? I don't know. I know Nafisia Collar is straight. Pretty sure she's straight. So of the team, you had 75, I think 75% of the women on that team were, were, were not, or are lesbians. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I don't care. <clears throat> but don't sit here and tell the, the woman who l wants to have children that she's supposed to schedule it around basketball or that she planned to do it and knew she was pregnant when she signed the contract. And even if she did, who cares? She played the whole season. She won a, helped you guys win a championship. She played the whole season pregnant. It's a bad look. This is the type of this is the type of situation that if they didn't have the NBA paying their bills, the WNBA would go out of business. The WNBA would legitimately legit, legit well, they would have already been out of business. But this is a situation where if the, the NBA is not paying their bills, this this league would be out of business because this is an, this is a multi multi million dollar lawsuit. And if I'm I don't know what they're looking for in terms of money. Because the players don't get paid shit comparatively to the men, but at a, at the very least, at the very least, if I'm those attorneys and I'm representing Dierica Hamby, I'm looking for twenty million at least. We can go down from there, but at the bare, bare, I'm bare minimum. I'm going for looking for twenty million dollars. You cost her sponsorships. You cost her endorsements. You cost her her reputation. You destroyed her. You you damaged her reputation because this was out last year. I remember it. So you've damaged her reputation. She just won a bronze medal. She's an Olympic medalist as well. She's a damn good player. And you traded her because she was pregnant. So even after giving birth, she was available to play as she was the entire season with the Sparks. The entire season. She played. She would have done the exact same thing for you with the Aces. And you traded her because she was pregnant. And she had gave she gave birth in the off season. I'll tell you what, this Nikki Fargus should be out of a job. Natalie Williams should be out of a job. And Becky Hammond should be out of a job. Let that shit have been any man. Speaking to women that way, dealing with women that way, 
they would have been gone the next day. This is despicable. This is disgraceful. And I don't know what WNBA is going to do. But heads need to roll. Heads need to roll. Not a two-game suspension. Becky Hammond should never coach another game again in the WNBA. And she should have been listed in that lawsuit. I would have sued her individually as well. Being that she's the one that was calling me and, and telling me all of this crap. I'm sure her lawyer said that it's not worth it, but I would have included Becky Hammond in that lawsuit. Because if my coach is, de- at least if my coach is defending me, I can feel good about that. But De'Erica Hamby is looking at Becky Hammond like, Becky Hammond, you sabotaged me. You actually are against me. What are your thoughts? Leave a, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what your opinion is on this situation. This is a massive, massive situation for the WNBA. It's going to cost them millions of dollars. Millions. So they might lose those private charter jets because of this. <laughs> so leave a comment, like, subscribe, and follow. Ring that bell. Come on now.